All right, all right. Eagles and Niners and everybody in Philly happy. Rightfully so. The Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles uh, keep answering the bell. And if they keep uh, being handed cupcakes on their way to a Super Bowl, which we'll get to in just a moment. Uh, but, you know, there's an aspect to this game, guys, I think that we need to break down because it's easy to just come on the air today and say, oh, listen, San Francisco didn't have a quarterback, therefore you can't win. Well, ultimately, I think that is accurate and right. Very You're not going to beat a great team like Philadelphia when you literally do not have a quarterback. But I want to go back earlier in the game. After the pretty injury, Josh Johnson comes in. It's 14-7. to We are now late in the first half. San Francisco is going to get the ball to start the second half. So... Even if you don't score on your last drive of the first half, yeah. if you can get into the locker room at 14 to 7, at least you can, you know, kind of you know, rally the troops and uh, you can attack from a standpoint of we're still in it. Yeah. You know, we've somehow survived the pretty injury. We're not playing great, but bang, we're one score down. I think yeah. that'd be the mindset, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so here's what I want to show you. Let me start off with after Josh Johnson actually throws a nice pass. And they get the ball uh, up around the 40-yard line or so. Mm-hmm. Here's uh, the play that really changes the tide of the game. It's the Josh Johnson fumble. All right, so he fumbles on his own 30, mm-hmm. and that's just that's all on him. Snaps there, takes his eyes off it. Great picture there, and then for some reason does immediately pounce on it. Ball's loose, pop, 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 and Philly Philly comes away with it. This to me is the key part of the game. Because San Francisco's defense at this stage of the game has Played not well. yet been taxed, right? Yeah, played well. And they're playing their tails off, yep. okay? So now it's 14 to 7. Now you get on the field defensively ah. on your own 30. Yeah. And this play is huge because he's got the play made without touching the face mask there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course, it goes for 15. But the Eagles score a touchdown here. Mm-hmm. And they do it essentially all on the ground. Yeah. And to me, this is where San Francisco ultimately loses the game. You go into the locker room down 21-7 as opposed to 14-7. And even before the Josh Johnson injury, 21-7 felt like it's a wrap. Yeah, no doubt about it. And I mean, Kyle Shanahan did his best. I mean, he playing the game the right way. That's what you're supposed to do. You get the ball. You got a couple seconds left in the game. Let's run one play. If we get some positive yards, let's go try to get a field goal or something out of it. We yep. get a negative play. They probably take a knee right there. Let's get on. And they're on about half. the 36, yeah. 37. But I mean, you can't fault this defense at all. They were on the field all. Yes. Yeah. Second yeah. half, Long. JJ. I'm First with you, half, but two. They yeah. were three and out I with Josh Johnson. Really? And all that. Yeah. Yes, they were on the field all game. I get it, long. but this is the game right here, right now. That and turnover change. That, that turnover changed the game. It 100%. You know, bad play by Josh Johnson. Yep. That turnover. But when you see that, I mean, you just came off the field. You know, Josh Johnson goes out on the field, and you right back on the field to play right. later. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's a gut blow to a defense, too. Then you come out and you make a mistake pulling the face mask. Them is body blows. And yeah. kudos to Philadelphia. Like you said, they went out there and did what they do. They've been running the ball down everybody throw it all season long. Yep. And the Niners, hey. You on the field all game long, mistakes happen, ran the ball down. Yeah, and I, I don't blame the Niners' defense in the second half, although I will say this again. If people could take their shots at Philly, I'm sure I will later in the program. Definitely uh, that, <laughs> that being said, though, the Niners committed 11 penalties for 81 yards, and they totally lost their cool at multiple times throughout this game. Yeah. Now, yeah. that being said, I will, I will say this. Frustrating, man. Once the game was yeah. out of hand, and yeah. it's a wrap, and Trent Williams Nobody wants literally <laughs> picked a dude up and ragged him to the like he was ground. nothing. Man. I gotta tell you, like nothing. Yeah, uh, that's a large man. man. Yes, that is a large, large man. We're showing you some of the silly uh, penalties, hey. oh. and then there's that. Yeah. Uh, so much for the brotherhood of football players yeah. that we saw so famously when Jamar <laughs> Hammond went down, yeah. and players talked about the fraternity and the respect they have for each other. I mean, I've never seen a grown man get ragdolled by another hey. man yeah. in person yeah. like that in a long, long time. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, it's like, listen, I'm sick and tired. Bah, bah, bah. He choke slammed him. Like, right? that yeah. was violent. And by the way, I didn't realize Trent Williams was the scariest man on earth. No one tried to do that, anything to him that's afterwards. That's my thing. You got, you got Indomitian Sue who has done things like that yeah. in a right. football game. And you see none of these guys running up on Big Trent, no man. One. 
And, yeah. and, and I understand. I mean, the, the Eagles know what's at stake right mm -hmm. now, right? Because they know they're blowing the Niners out. Yes. Ain't no need for us to get in here and really throw no punches. Because theoretically, injected. you could be suspended exactly. for the Super Bowl, and, and, and right? You don't want that. But, I mean, the heat of the moment, man, I, I want to see somebody Let me get ask up you a question. There. Now, the Swing Eagles it. win the game. <laughs> uh, but if you're the guy that gets ragdolled like yeah. that, are guys busting your chops after it's in the locker room? It or do guys kind of leave that alone? They better not. No, it depends how it is. Now, if, I, if you ran up on somebody and he slams you like right. that, yeah. then you're going to get some from your teammates. <laughs> yeah. Like, man, look at you. But right here, I mean, he couldn't do too much. Trent nope. pulled him from the back and just body slammed yeah. him. Yeah. Rag dog. Whoop. So, yeah. you know, he couldn't do too now, much. Now, they, so. they, they both got ejected from the game. <laughs> so, it's bad now. enough he got thrown to the ground. Now, what he I also got kicked out. I would have watched this play in the locker room because I know it would have been all on. TikTok, so I would have watched it from my locker. And when my teammates walked in, they would have got everything they wanted from me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Because if they say, well, uh, well yeah. Trent Williams just yeah. absolutely owned you, I'm like, no where doubt. were no, you? No doubt. Here's the video. Said, I would have said, oh, y'all going to get some of me now. <laughs> and I and as, <laughs> as he walked out off the field, not a single fan said anything either. No. They're like, we're going to let this gentleman man, walk right back to the locker room. He can go wherever he all, wants. All by himself. We're going to give him his peace, man. Exactly him, right. And these are fans that pregame were throwing eggs. Yeah. At San Francisco 49er fans. Wow. And when Trent Williams walked off the field, the there comment. wasn't an egg in there sight. Egg which also shows you that Eagle fans are high class, uh, high society <laughs> type people. They because, well. as you know, eggs are very expensive yeah, right yeah. now. And to waste an egg on a dude just walking down the street, yeah, we're just oh, going to throw on. eggs at people. No. That's what we do in Philadelphia. We throw eggs at people and miss. Two. Wow. Anyway, they didn't throw any they eggs at Trent Williams. No. We today's day and age, they might as well throw some gold bully on. That is that is some money they're giving up right That's there. That's exactly right. By the way, uh, Trent Williams was not the only San Francisco 49er to lose his cool. Uh, Greenlaw uh, lost his cool. And looks like he's got a future boxing YouTube stars as he threw one, two, three consecutive uh, lefts to try to knock the ball out. There's one. He's got another one. There's uh, two. Uh, Give me one uh, more, kid. Give me one yep. more, kid. Bang. Uh, that's Three nice straight enough. body blows, yeah. and of uh. course the flag goes on that. Mm -hmm. The only difference here, though, uh. is that he the I know ball, I know it was said on the broadcast that it came after the whistle. I think it came before the whistle. Uh, either way, uh, I'm pretty sure NFL rules well they allow you to try to hit a ball out. I don't think they allow you to well, I mean, throw I, I, three punches. I think it's just the, I think it's just the consecutive punches yeah. because I mean we see receivers run. I mean Peanut Tillman did it the best. Right. He got me a bunch of times doing that. Where it's a boom, it's a smooth punch at the yeah. ball. You know, I think it's the three consecutive. Just, yeah, like three, three consecutive, <laughs> and and probably you know he's wrapped up, he's in a pile and all that. Why yeah. why are you punching? But man, I'm telling you, I watched a lot of frustration on that field because yes. the mm -hmm. pain that the Niners was going through in that game, knowing that. You know we outnumber with no quarterback, and we are a really good team with a third-string quarterback. It was just a lot of frustration, man, and mm -hmm. you've seen a lot of that, man, and that, that's football. Sam, man. San Francisco has now gone through Trey Lance, Jimmy Garoppolo, oh. Brock Purdy, man. Josh Johnson, man. and for one play, Christian McCaffrey. Man. Yeah. That's a tough way to win a game. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.